At the most fundamental level, what is a video game but a simulation of something we can't actually do? They let us take to a battlefield and neutralize the enemy. They let us save the princess. They give the user an escape from their otherwise uneventful lives, allowing them to do things they might like to, but can't. Obviously, I tend to look at games a bit differently than some of the nerds who also do this. In this case, what strikes me as more important than graphics and story and online functionality is the premise fueling Jaws Ultimate Predator. This is interactive software that makes you eat people. Given our definition of the term, this seems to me as disturbing a video game as I've ever seen. Yeah, other games let you shoot people, right? But for the most part, those people are at least doing something horrible. Like, shooting at you. In Jaws Ultimate Predator, you're literally eating people at the beach. It's like... It's like a smorgasbord of the most senseless death imaginable. As far as I can tell, these people don't even have sunscreen, let alone AK-47s. So obviously, I'm endlessly fascinated by the social implications of the existence of this game. The fact that somewhere, there's someone who says, Oh man, if only I had a game that let me knock people off a boat and eat them alive as they flail about in the ocean hopelessly struggling while my serrated teeth cut them like a paper shredder. Someone needs to make that f***ing game. And so to the delight of both sociopaths and Shark Week fans who take it a bit too seriously, Majesco delivers Jaws Ultimate Predator. This game is basically Endless Ocean, had Nintendo added a bite button and subtitled the game of death. As the mythical marine murder merchant himself, you swim around and eat things. And to be fair, not all of these things are entirely innocent. You do encounter things like shark hunters and even other predators on occasion, so some of your meals are an expected reaction from a creature with such sharp teeth. But for the most part, the objectives revolve around eating turtles, fish, you know, people. Now the premise of the game aside, there are a lot of problems keeping Jaws low on the food chain. For starters, the controls are not at all reflective of the natural traits these majestic beasts possess, that being their swimming abilities. Controlling Jaws is an absolute headache. It moves forward automatically, so all you're actually doing is steering and attacking. You'd think with so little to do, it'd be a lot easier. But no, instead you'll have to loop around and make several passes at your hapless prey before finally sinking your teeth in. Steering is slow and clunky, the detection for when you're actually biting something is fluky at best, and even though there are a selection of advanced attacks, like dragging swimmers under the water, they're impossibly frustrating to pull off. You'll just end up ramming things the whole time. That gets old very quickly. There are a few decent extras here, including street pass support and postcards for inserting your face into, but the core game just isn't very compelling. It controls poorly, the graphics are dull, and like the tides themselves, the fun of eating helpless people recedes as quickly as it rises in Jaws Ultimate Predator. <laughs>